Well, Joe, congratulations. Uh, always nice to get a first win of any season. Yeah, it really, really is. Um, you know, especially in front of our fans here, who we thought were absolutely amazing tonight. It's just a little bit disappointing that we can't send them away a little bit happier, but I'm, I'm surmising they'll be happy with three points and a clean sheet. Uh, we are, but first half, we could have put on a real show. Yeah, Was that the best 45 minutes since you've been here? Uh, no, we've had some good moments. I thought the Aki game, Shrewsbury game last season, there was, there was moments in that. This season, for sure, I think we've created more chances in, in that game than we have in the whole of pre-season and the, the game so far. And it's been tough, it's been frustrating you know, for all of us because we see on the training ground and, and I've, I know why I've brought certain players in to play certain positions, but you know, tonight was the first opportunity to get to a, a back three. Alex Rodman was meant to play 60 minutes, uh, but obviously no plan survives. Uh, contact with the enemy, you know, we had Sam Finley playing only his second game, was meant to do 75, Aaron Collins meant to do 75, but injuries were picked up and knocks and niggles were picked up elsewhere in the team, obviously Hansi picked up a, mm. a bit of a knock in the build-up to it, and I thought Belly was, was superb, so mm. we we challenged the group and said, look, if we're going to get this job done, uh, it's going to be a group effort and a squad effort, and I thought the players really, really took that on tonight, and you know, certainly first half, um, you know, we showed signs of the team that we're capable of, mm. of becoming, but also our players seen what our fan base is like. You know, they were really, really raucous and noisy in there, and it was because we were playing the right way. Mm. You know, attacking football on the front foot, service in the box, and that's what the gas heads want. You know, they want to go and support the team home and away. We've got to give them uh, more consistently. Uh, a team and a performance like we did first half uh, to, to get behind. Was the second half a little bit of tired legs for some of those players, as you say, who haven't had the fitness work that you might have liked over the last few weeks? Yeah, it, it, it was. You know, you, As I said, they've all been at different stages because of COVID and times they've come in and knocks and niggles they've had. And I still think we're four or five weeks away from you know, really starting to give a consistently you know, solid performance for 90 minutes. It takes time, you know. I'm not even at the end of my first recruitment window, and you know the modern game has, uh, you know, because of the way we've we've nose dived into the ground at the at the back end of last season. You know, we're, we're three league games in, um, and pre-season was worrying because we didn't create a lot pre-season. That came then into the season, but I think starting to get you know key components back. Uh, I think tonight, fit, certainly first period, we showed the style that we want to play in. Mm. Uh, I'm just disappointed that, you know, we went two, three, four, five up first half because we've had a couple of really good penalty shouts uh, and some real good opportunities that I'm sure in four, five, six weeks time, you know, the players will be sharp and uh, and they'll go in the back of the net. Yeah, well, I guess it is a journey. If you're not creating the chances today, you're in six or seven really good chances in that first half. Yes, you didn't take them, but at least you're creating them, I suppose. Yeah, well, we didn't create much in the last three <laughs> games, so... Um, you know, you're always at the back of a coach's mind. You're always thinking, okay, you know, you want that second and third goal because one nil's a dangerous scoreline. And, and credit to Oldham, you know, my me, me, me thoughts are with with, uh, with Keith Kerr. I know he's been a little bit under the weather. Kerry, I was with him at QPR as a top guy, so I wish him a speedy recovery. But credit to them, you know, they changed shape at half time, made a couple of substitutions, and you know they were playing. You'll have to uh, bleep this out. Uh, it's well, you know, you get beat one nil away from home. And you just go for it. They went four two four. Credit to them. They went and tried to get themselves back in the game, and and we had to defend manfully. And and, and our goalkeeper, when required, was was there with the, with the stops. Mm. A little bit nervy, probably sixty to seventy five, eighty minutes. But I felt you know the lads that came into the pitch, Keen Aries, Brett Pittman, Sammy Nicholson, were superb at helping us manage out those last ten minutes. You know, we don't know how to win because it's been a while. Certainly, uh, you know, in our stadium. And, and you have to learn how to win games of football. So 1-0 in the clean sheet is the best result in football, yeah. albeit you know we've got to drive on and expect a little bit more. And, and certainly our fans tonight go home happy, but also we're fully aware of the work to do. We've got lots and lots of work in front of us. Yeah, and I could have picked out pretty much most of the team. I've got a lot of good performances. It's always nice for a striker to get a first goal at a club, though. So it's something Harvey will remember, even if it did get the deflection. Yeah, I mean, he's, I said to him, was it going in? And he said it was going in anyway, uh, as all good strikers do. Uh, but yeah, look, he, he played in his normal position today. He played wide outside of of, of, a, of a front man, and, and as is probably best positions outside of a front man. But 
you know, between the two of them because we don't have that na- number nine fully fit and firing yet. Although we have Brett coming off the bench tonight, who wasn't in the bench but done a session this morning and said, I've got 20 minutes in me. <laughs> well, he did, the physio said 10, but he said, no, no, I'm, I've got... Which is what you want, you know, Sam Finlay, they're, they're chucking themselves in when they're not 100% and they're having the character to say, no, no, team needs me and I'm ready to go. Uh, for me as a coach, it's really, really pleasing. Uh, it shows the appetite of, of the character of, and personnel we've brought in. And I think, you know, our fans seen today with the tackles and, and the way they, they were fully committed, just how much they care and, and, and how important it is to to defend, um, you know, the quarters and, and, and be proud of, you know, this stadium. I, I didn't speak to them much before the game other than saying, look, we've got to get the intensity right. And if you get the intensity right, this crowd are ready to travel all around the country to get behind you, and I think the lads realise that at half time. You know, I don't think they realise some sometimes um, just what a big football club this is and what a passionate fan base it is. And as I say, I'm looking forward to us improving and, and getting the gas heads uh, smiles back on the faces. Well done tonight. Cheers. Thank you.